Hey friends, it's me Stace. For today's video, we are doing an unboxing of InLoveArtShop.com. I will have that link below. So it just arrived yesterday. I said lots of goodies in here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this one, really cute, and a little ice cream die. How fun is that one? Then we have this one, a little tooth. So you can have that be the tooth fairy. Then we have, oh, she sent me two of those. Did I order two of them? Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. This is our free gift, I think. Then we have this one, really cute. All the hearts. Then we have this one, which I forget. Oh, this is strawberries. And then we have this one, a little mailbox. How cute is that? And then we have this one, which is paint brushes and paint streaks. Then this one is... The hearts. Look at that one. Lots of hearts on that one. I right, said so this is the free gift. So I, I believe when you spend a certain amount of money, I want to say it's like thirty dollars, they send you a free gift. That's what this one is here. So let me bring it over here so you can. I got a piece of white so you can see it better. That's a really pretty wreath. And there's all kinds of flowers you can use with that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so I like, so you can add, so you can use these flowers to kind of add to the wreath. That's really nice. It doesn't say what it's called. I'll have to check my order status and see what that is. I think it just marked as free gift. But how sweet is that? Right, so we have that one. And again, we have the Tooth Fairy. I, I'll have to check my order to see if I order two. If not, I want to send that one back. And we have this one. Love that one. The paintbrush, I think from the get-go, from the just from unboxing, the paintbrush is probably going to be my favorite. So you have two paintbrushes, you have the little piece that goes across the paintbrush, you have the two streaks, and you have the little handle pieces. Mailbox, so we have a few hearts and a few different envelopes. The strawberry, again, so you can do these, you know, if you want to do like a chocolate-covered strawberry or a white chocolate or a swirl. I really like these, too. And again, the tooth fairy, so it has the tooth. I guess these are the wings, the crown, the little wand, and his arms. And I love the ice cream. That's really cute. So you have, you have a traditional waffle cone and then your standard box cone. You have two of the drips, or two ice cream flavors. One has little indents in them. I looks, this looks like maybe a strawberry. You have some swirls. Lots of fun. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look through these and see what I want to do a video on, and that'll come up next. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, after looking through all of the dies, I decided to use the mailbox one. So we're making this fun card. And then using this one here, this heart one, we're making that card. Isn't that pretty? And then with this heart cut out, we're making this card, which is also a shaker card. So we're going to start with the mailbox card first. I already have everything cut out, so I have a piece of cardstock. This is four and a quarter by eight and a half, and I scored that at four and a quarter. Then I have this piece that measures four by four. I'm going to bring in my Misty here to do some stamping on here. And I'm going to grab my black ink and just ink this up. So that looks pretty good. We can move that out of the way now. I'm going to flip this over and we are going to adhere this to the front of our card. Just like that. Okay, now the mailbox dies look like this. Okay, so you have the mailbox itself, you have the three envelope pieces, you have the hearts, then you have these two pieces here which are the feet of the mailbox. I'm going to set that aside there and bring in this here. So I did cut out two pieces of the mailbox. This one here I want to save this inside piece. I'm going to flip it over and put that inside there where it goes and just take a piece of tape to hold that in place. And then on this one I cut in a different color, and I just cut, you'll see on the die, there's a line right here. I went ahead and cut on that line. I'm going to flip it over and grab some foam squares, and we're going to pop 
this up. I'm just going to use five. And don't forget, I have a coupon code for you guys as well to save 25% off your order. And there's no minimum purchase, which is awesome. As I said before, if you're in the market, you know, you're just starting out with card making and you want to try some dyes, I highly recommend and love art shop. They have a really good selection and um, they're also very inexpensive. With that coupon code, you can't beat it. All right, so I'm gonna take all these little things off. Okay, I think I got them all. And we're gonna line it up on the left-hand side. Just like that. So it kind of gives our mailbox like a little shadow. I'm not quite straight there. There we go, much better. I'm gonna flip it over and grab some glue on the back. And I'm just using art glitter glue for two little dots there. I'm gonna grab my tweezers and the feet. Okay, so our little mailbox is done. Let me grab that piece of paper over there. All right, so this piece for the inside of the mailbox measures one and a quarter by one and a quarter. I'm gonna grab that same black ink. So oh, sorry about that. And I'm gonna stamp on here best wishes. And I'm gonna kind of stamp it on an angle. I don't, know, I don't have to worry about it being straight. All right, we're gonna set that aside to dry and work on our envelope pieces here. So I have the envelopes. I'm gonna grab my glue again. And we're gonna go ahead and just put a little dot of glue inside the large envelope. Grab our large heart. Put that right inside there. All right, we're gonna take this. I'm not gonna use any foam squares on this one. I'm just gonna put it right in the center of the mailbox here. And you'll see that little, that little square where it fits inside. Just like that, isn't that cute? All right, now we have our envelope. Actually, you just take this and adhere it to our card first. And I put this on the bottom right hand corner and I have the legs kind of at the bottom. Okay, take one of your envelopes. I'm going to put the large envelope. I'm going to put glue just on that little handle right here at the very top and then put our envelope inside there so it's peeking out of the mailbox. And then the other ones that I popped them up, I did pop them up. Okay, I'm gonna flip all these over and put foam squares on each one of these. Okay, now I'll just take the backings off and then put them on the card. So I have a small one. medium one and another large and that quick our cards then that cute what do you think I think it's really really cute so there's that one there and then this one there I right, now we're gonna do this card let me gonna put the lid back on my glue all right so for this card, I have a piece of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Same color cardstock, this is four by five and a quarter. We're using this heart die. Cuts out a lot of little hearts. So I, what I did is I cut this piece to be four by five and a quarter. I cut this out, and then I trimmed it down to be three and a half by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of glittery cardstock to go behind that one. Let's go and grab that. And I did not need a shim for any of these. They all cut out fine on my Big Shot. Okay. It's gonna put this on there. Oh, notice all the cards today were um, have hearts as a theme in them. Okay, just make sure that adheres. And I do recommend if you're using a glittery cardstock, use a uh, liquid glue. All right, we're gonna stamp our greeting on that. 
This one says sending hugs and kisses. I'm going to stamp off first just to make sure. Okay. I'm going to stamp right here in the lower left hand corner. All right. And then this one, we're going to adhere this one once this is dried. We're going to take this one and adhere it to this other piece. I think I'll just use. No, I'll use my liquid glue. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. I don't want to smudge it. And I'm gonna go to the far right of this piece. And I'm actually gonna flip it over and just rub. Now the reason I did that is so I had a spot here to add some twine. So I'm gonna grab this. This isn't even twine, this is um, embroidery floss. But it works good. I'm gonna grab a piece of scotch tape, two pieces. I'm gonna put this right up here on the red part. Flip it over, tape it down. And just wrap it around. I think I did three wraps around there. Tape it back down. Cut that off. I'm going to grab some more of that embroidery floss. And I'm going to double it up and cut it. And then we're going to flip this over and tie a little bow under there. It's a very simple card, but it definitely has that wow factor to it. Love that. And you can use, if you don't have glitter paper, you can use a pattern paper or anything you want back there behind those hearts. So just fix our bow so it's not so large. Our tails off. Oops, wrong scissors. There we go. And there we go. And we're going to take this and adhere that to the front. Centering on the card. So there is that card there using that die. I will have all, I will have all these linked below. I'm gonna set that that card aside. Now we're gonna work on this one here, which is the shaker card. Okay. All right. So for that one, I have all of my pieces cut out again to save some time. So my cardstock base is for is uh, eight and a half by five, and I have it scored at four and a quarter. Then I took a piece of cardstock, four by five and a quarter, and I cut that heart out. So I just centered it on my paper there, and I cut it out. And then when you cut that out, you're going to have this white piece. You can save that, right? I'm not using it, but I did cut it out of the white. I went ahead and cut it out again with red. So we're going to put that inside there. But before we do that, I have a piece of acetate that I cut to be, what is this? Uh, three and three quarter by five. So it's a little bit smaller than this one. Just make sure you're going, before you put your acetate on there, make sure your hearts are going the right way, which they are. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to grab my glue. And so put some glue around here. This is going to hold our acetate on for us. fingers out of that glue. Grab our piece of acetate and I have this cut just a little bit smaller than the white. Okay, so we have that there. All right now, for this piece, I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper and just make sure again this is going the way you want it. I'm going to flip it over and put a lot of glue on here. Not a whole lot, but just enough to where this will stay in place for us.
just enough to hold it down. Okay, I'm going to take it and just kind of dab it off, and then place it on here, lining it up inside that center piece. Okay, I'm going to flip it over again and just rub it. sure all that is down really well. Okay, so that is the front. Now, what I'm going to do now is take some foam with squares. I'm going to go all the way around this. I'm going to hit pause on the camera and I'll come right back. All right, I have all of my foam squares on there. I'm going to lift it up so you can see. I used quite a bit on there. You want to make sure you're going all the way around the edges. Now, if you had foam uh, tape, you can also use that. So for the inside, for the hearts, we're actually going to be using this die right there make all of our hearts. I already went ahead and did that. And I have an inside of baggie here. And I'm going to take these and just put them in the center. In there. Take them off the foam squares if they do get stuck to that. Now if you had sequins, of course you could use them as well. You can use anything you want on the inside. Alright, so we have them in there. I already have all of my tape off my foam squares. We're going to take the smaller piece of white and go right behind it. And that's going to create our shaker. You can see that there. I'm just going to take this. We're going to adhere this to the front of the card. So it's very, very simple, this card. All right, we're going to put that right in the center on the top, on the front. I'm going to flip it over and just go on the inside and just give it a rub. Now this, because it has a lot of dimension on it, this is probably a card you want to um, hand to a friend. All right, so now I took a piece of paper. This cardstock is a half inch by one and three quarter. And I stamped on there that says you and me and I added a heart from the red that I cut out. We're going to take this and glue it right on the bottom left hand side. Make it sure it's straight. Just like that. Thank you. So we have that card. This one there. We have the mailbox. Which is your favorite? Leave me a comment below which is your favorite. So the mailbox card and then we have the glitter heart card. I kind of like this one. This is really pretty. I think it's because of the glitter. But I like them all. Super cute, right? All right? So again, we have this heart die. And again, I will have all these linked below. We have that one there. We have this large one that has all these little hearts. Then we have the mailbox. Again, you have the mailbox piece or the mailbox itself. The three envelopes. The little heart piece or the leg and the legs and also the heart. Okay? All right, my friends, there you have it. Uh, any questions at all, please let me know. And again, I will have a direct link to inloveartshop.com as well as to all these, um, all the dies, not just these three, but all the dies I shared with you earlier. Um, any questions, Don't uh, also don't forget to use the coupon code. I will have that link below as well. Again, 25% off your purchase. There's no minimum order. Um, so as I said, if you're in the market for some dies, even some stamps, they have stamps as well, um, you can go there and check it out. Use the coupon code and save yourself 25%. All right, my friends, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.